Hello everyone, welcome to Vinod Ratinam Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn about Python for loop. Python has two types of loop commands, while and for loop. While loop we have already completed in the previous video. Now we will learn about for loop. In order to start the for loop, we must know the data structures like a list, tuple string which we are going to cover it in the next video series for time being we will learn how to use the for loop using list alone list means saving multiple values in a single variable which is similar to arrays in other programming language now as per the definition for loop is used to iterate over a sequence in our example, we used list one by one till all the values in the list get completed. Flowchart says first it will check for the first value. For the first value, it will do some manip. Then for the second value, it will do the some manipulation. Till we complete all the values in the list, this loop will be getting executed. Once all the value is completed, the execution will come out of the loop. Let's do a sample program. So this is a list which contains all the fruits name and the variable name is fruits. Now keyword for this is an iteration variable. We can keep any variable name. I will keep i then in fruits colon. See for iterating variable in sequence. The sequence here is fruits followed by colon after this we can do any manipulation now i am going to just print the output value print i let me execute and show you result it displayed each value here now we'll see the definition first item in the sequence is assigned to the iterating variable so the apple will be assigned to the i after that it will come into the statement then the statement block is executed in our example we are just printing the value the first iteration gets completed then it will go to the second value banana in fruits then it's printing it then one by one by one till it gets jackfruit once all the value gets completed it will come out of the loop the same example we have seen with the string values now we'll see with the number another program now in the list i am having all the values like 1 5 10 15 it is saving to the variable numbers now for ax in numbers print x when you run it all the values which is available inside this list will be printed one by one the same example i want to find the sum of all these values just think about the logic we have to use the for loop First, I have to add 1 plus 5, then this value will be 6, 6 plus 10, then like this I have to do step by step. For that, the initial value should be 0, sum equal to 0, then for val in numbers, now sum equal to sum plus val. What exactly this code will do is, initially sum equal to 0 plus 1 the value will be 1 in the second iteration sum equal to 1 plus 5 the value will be 6 after that 6 plus 10 16 and it will be keep on repeating it after this I have to print the value sum of all the numbers in the list is this value will be displayed just run it when you sum all these value you will get answer 126 this is a very simple program but in real time scenario we will handle even more complicated scenarios using for loop the best part of python is we can add else statement to the loops in the previous video we have seen else statement to the while loop now we will see how to add the else statement to the for loop same program once again what I am going to do is else I am printing no item left. It means once all the value is completed, this will come out of the loop and it will execute the else statement. Best way is whatever the statement you want to display to the user, you can add it to the else statement. 
just run that once all value displayed finally else statement is executed no items left we have seen how to iterate through the list in addition to that we can iterate through a string also simple program for x and python colon print x if it is a string then it will take one by one by character now comes a very important topic a range function using range function we can generate sequence of numbers and uh, the syntax is very easy range starting number ending number then step size and remember one thing this function does not store all the values in the memory it will be inefficient so it just remembers the start stop and the step size alone and generates the number based on that that is one important interview question about the range function now we'll see with an example print range 10 a very simple example when you run it the meaning of this is it generated 10 numbers starting from 0 till 9 you want to check the numbers one by one means we can use the for loop to display it i will display it now for x in range 10 print x run it you can see the value in this ranges starts from 0 till 9 always remember end number minus 1 it's displayed 10 values one more example x in range 2 comma 6 the meaning of is it starts from 2 and the end value minus 1 2 to 5 it will display print x so it starts from 2 till 5 now same example with step size for x in range the value starts from 1 and the end value is 30 it means 30 minus 1 till 29 it will display and the step size is 2 you can guess it will display 1 3 5 odd numbers print x just execute now you can see it started from 1 till 29 we have many ways to iterate one more way is using the index same example the list contains all the fruit names for index in range len is a function then fruits print the fruit name is then this fruits followed by the index value this is an another way where we can print each values for knowledge purpose i am teaching this it is not a compulsory that we have to follow this method you can directly use this way also one more way we can print the value if you want to print the index of each value use the enumerate enumerate methods adds a counter to the iterable and return it in the form of enumerate object the syntax is little bit modified for here i am mentioning two things index and the value in enumerate of that fruits when you execute it will display the index of each value then comes the important topic nested for loop you know very well nested loop means inside one loop there is an another loop if it is a nested for loop means inside one for loop i am going to code an another for loop for x in range 1 comma 4 you know very well it starts from 1 till 3 the value will be there one more for loop for y in range 1 comma 4 same thing now i want to display both x comma y value here i can't able to show you the real time scenario that will be very complicated program but i am just explaining with a simple values with one the inner for loop first it will execute 1 comma 1 1 comma 2 1 comma 3 once the one value is completed it, it will come out of the loop then it will take the value to 2 comma 1 2 comma 2 2 comma 3 once the value is completed then it will come to the main for loop then the value will be 3 3 comma 1 3 comma 2 3 comma 3 let me directly show the one more example i have an object red big tasty fruits apple banana cherry now x in this one then for y in fruits what will be the output you can see exactly like number it will print with the string when you run red apple red banana red cherry big apple big banana big cherry tasty apple tasty banana tasty cherry 
This is how nested for loop will work. Hope you got an idea about for loops. All the programs and this materials will be available in this URL which I will mention in the video description. Thanks for watching. Happy learning.